Hello everyone, welcome to Church Assembly. I'm sorry that it's just me today. Reverend Anna and I tried to record this assembly last week and unfortunately we managed to lose our video. So I'm just quickly doing it again for you now. We're so excited that you get to watch this assembly together in school. Isn't that fantastic? And we wanted to talk to you today about a really special occasion called Palm Sunday, which is happening next Sunday, the 28th of March. It's the first big event in what Christians call Holy Week, the final countdown to Easter Day. And we've chosen this story because it's a really joyful occasion. Even though sad things did happen to Jesus after Palm Sunday, there is no doubt that Palm Sunday was a happy, happy day. And we also wanted to share it with you, especially this Lent, because it's all about a crowd gathering for a special time. We all miss being in big groups, don't we? We miss going to birthday parties. We miss supporting each other at football matches or watching uh, each other in dance shows. We long to go to big bustling restaurants and have noisy meals together. Grown-ups haven't been in big groups for so long. You are really lucky to be able to be in school together. So I'm now going to read you the story that Reverend Dana had hoped to share with you. It's from my special Storyteller Bible and it's called The Great Parade. I'll just show you the picture before I begin. There you go. Let's go to Jerusalem, said Jesus to his friends. I have something important to do there. So they went. And when they could just see the city from a nearby hillside, Jesus said, let's have a parade. Now, Jesus' friends were surprised. A parade? They wondered, why a parade? But no one said anything because Jesus was already busy giving instructions. I want two of you to borrow a donkey, he said. Tell the owner I need it, he'll understand. And when the two friends returned with the donkey, Jesus hopped on its back, gently nudged its sides and started down the hill. His friends followed close behind. Hooray for Jesus, they shouted. Jesus is king. Down, down, down they rode towards the city gate. And the closer they got, the more people joined them. It's Jesus the teacher, someone called. It's Jesus the healer, called someone else. Three cheers for Jesus, called one and all. And soon there were people everywhere marching along with the parade and shouting from the roadside. Some took off their coats and laid them in front of the donkey and others cut palm branches from the trees and waved them about. And you see them there, waving their palm leaves. There were hundreds, maybe thousands, clapping and dancing and shouting their way through the city gates. Everyone was happy. Well, almost everyone. Some of the religious leaders didn't like Jesus. They were jealous because the ordinary people were so fond of him. And when they saw the parade, they frowned. Here's the man frowning in the corner of the picture. Oh, he does look cross, doesn't he? Wait just a minute, they called. You can't have a parade here. Tell your friend to be quiet, Jesus. But Jesus just laughed. Tell them to be quiet, impossible. And then he turned to look at the crowd. Can't you see, he said, there's so much happiness here that even if I could make the people quiet, the stones in the street would jump up and shout with joy. Well, what a happy sounding parade. Now, when we're in church on Palm Sunday, Reverend Anna says a prayer over crosses like these. 
and we're all given one to wave around to remind us of that special parade. They're actually made from palm leaves, just like the branches people picked and waved at Jesus when he paraded past. And we also shout quite an unusual word in church. We shout Hosanna, okay? And it's what the Bible says people would have shouted on the first Palm Sunday. Now, Hosanna is a special word to show how much people love Jesus, how happy they were to see him. And it showed what a big and positive impact Jesus had had on all the people that he met if they wanted to shout that back at him when they had a parade. Now, as well as the excitement of being given my very own Palm Cross, the other thing I love about Palm Sunday is thinking about Jesus riding on a donkey. Now, we know, don't we, that Jesus rode a donkey when he was in his mummy's tummy. Some of you enjoy looking after Benny, the woolly church donkey who travels around with Mary and our Mary and Joseph dolls during Advent. Well, by the time we get to Palm Sunday, Jesus is a grown up and he's riding a donkey again. I love the bit where he tells his friends to go and get him a donkey and he reassures them the owner will be expecting them to come and borrow it. I think that part of the story is a really great reminder that Jesus has a plan, even though we sometimes aren't quite sure why things are happening in our lives. Jesus does know what's going on. He understands and he is watching over us. Now, riding a donkey was a really important way for Jesus to show he was a different sort of leader. He didn't choose a powerful war horse like other kings and rulers might have ridden. He rose the jet rode on the gentle, humble donkey. And I think this is a reminder that when Jesus asks people to be like him, he isn't asking us to be grand or famous really clever and really strong. He wants us to be gentle and kind as we go about our ordinary lives. And when we next get the chance for a parade, whatever we're celebrating, let's really enjoy it. I'm going to finish our short assembly with a prayer if you agree with the words that I say and you want to pray, do say Amen at the end. Otherwise, please just sit quietly and reflect on some of the things that we've thought about this morning. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the story of Palm Sunday. Thank you that Jesus wants us to make a difference where we are in our normal life. Help us keep each other full of joy as we wait for the time when we can gather for big parades and celebrations together again. Amen. Thank you for listening. See you soon. Bye.